By the end of this video, you're gonna understand what A-B split testing is and how to do it successfully with your Facebook ads so that you spend less money for more profits. So let's start by defining what A-B split testing is. And by the way, I have all my chapters marked below, so if you already know what it is, you can skip to the next section. In the world of Facebook ads, A-B split testing is when you run multiple ads with one variable changed in each. For example, if you're wanting to test out different captions, you would run the same creative, being an image or a video, for multiple ads, but give each ad a different caption. Or vice versa, if you're wanting to test the creative, you would run a different image or video in each ad, but keep the caption the same in all of them. Then you identify which ad performed the best in terms of engagement or sales or whatever your goal is. Keeping one element the same throughout, such as the caption, and then changing the other elements throughout, such as the creative, allows you to see exactly what it was about an ad that made it work. If all the captions are the same, but ad number three with a customer testimonial video performed way better than ad number two with a product feature video, that's important information for you to know. You can go forward understanding that testimonials resonate with your audience better than product information. And you can use that information to make more ads that are successful in the future. If you just run one ad, you won't know what about that ad brought in the results or what about that ad caused it to flop if it didn't bring in the results. Therefore, it's gonna be tricky trying to recreate that success or avoid that failure in the future. I've also seen clients put up multiple ads and think that alone is A-B split testing, but there has to be a constant and a variable. Let's say you've got ad number one with a video and a caption about that video, and then you've got ad number two with product carousel images and a different caption about those products. And let's say the video ad wins. It brings in the most results at the lowest cost per result you won't know what caused that ad to be the winning ad. You might say, oh, it was because it had a video as the creative as opposed to the product carousel. But the captions were different in both ads too. So what if it was the caption in the video ad that made it perform better? You won't know because you didn't really run an A-B split test where there's a constant, AKA a controlled variable that stays the same across all ads versus an independent variable that's different across all ads. Also, are these words bringing y'all back to like sixth grade science or is that just me? Anyway, once you've grasped those basics about how A-B split testing works, it opens the door to many opportunities with your Facebook ads because there's so many things you can test. We've covered the obvious variables like creative and captions, but you can test the destination link where you send your ads to, or you can keep all of your ads the same and send them to different audience, AKA testing different ad sets, and the list goes on. So this person who asked if you can use a video in ad A and an image in ad B, absolutely, among many other options. Now, this person asked if we could show how to A-B test without using the inbuild feature, and yes, that's exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do today. So let's get into how to set up A-B split testing in Facebook Ads Manager. We're gonna go to business.facebook.com slash ads manager. Now, if you're not super familiar with Ads Manager or haven't created a single ad yet, don't know how to create an ad, you're gonna wanna watch this beginner's video on how to do that first. That video walks you through step-by-step -step how to create a Facebook ad. Once you know how to do that, you can come back here to this video and start setting up A-B split test ads. So assuming you know your way around Ads Manager just a little bit, start on the home screen and either create a new campaign, ad set and ad from scratch, or click into a campaign you've already got running. You'll want to first determine what it is that you want to test, something related to your ads or your audiences. Anything ad related will be dealt with in the ad level and anything audience, budget or placement related will be dealt with in the ad set level. So let's say you're wanting to test out different creatives. You would set up your campaign, ad set, and first ad like normal, or choose an ad from a campaign you're already running like I'm about to do here, and you'll duplicate the ad. Do this by hovering your mouse over ad number one and then hit duplicate. From there, choose existing campaign. Make sure it's in the same campaign as the one ad number one is in. Same thing for the ad set and then hit duplicate. It should bring you to this screen where you're now editing the duplicate ad. First, you'll want to change the name to something that's recognizable for you. You wanna be able to look at the name of this ad at a glance from the Ads Manager home screen and know which one it is. So whether you call it ad number two or a descriptor of the ad like ad with video or something, you'll wanna change that here. 
Then you'd scroll down and change out the creative since that's what we're testing in this example. You could change it to an image or a carousel or change it to a different video. You'll want to keep everything else the same. Alternatively, if you're testing captions, you'll keep your creative the same as ad number one and change your caption here in ad number two. Or you could do that with your headlines, descriptions, you could test your call to action button, your destination URL, etc. Just remember, you're only changing one thing on this screen. So pick what you're testing for, change that, and leave the rest as it is, and then hit publish. And you can continue to follow that process to create several more ads, depending on how many ads you're wanting to run in this test. If you have three videos to test against one another, you'll have three ads. If you have eight captions you want to test against each other, you'll have eight ads, and so on. Now let's look at how to A-B test ad sets. Again, you'll A-B test in the ad set level if you're wanting to test different audiences, budgets, or placements against each other. So you'll select the ad set tab and follow a similar process. Hover your mouse over the ad set you want to copy and hit duplicate. Select the same existing campaign, hit duplicate, and edit the name of the ad set to be recognizable to you, such as ad set number two, or again, a descriptor of what you're changing from ad set number one. Then scroll down, change what you're testing for, and leave the rest as it is. So if you're wanting to test out different budgets, change the budget, leave the rest the same. If you're wanting to test out different audiences, edit your demographics, interests, custom audiences, and more here, and leave the rest the same. If you're wanting to test out ads exclusively on Facebook versus ads exclusively on Instagram, change your placement, and you guessed it, leave the rest the same. The same principle applies here in that you're changing one thing on the screen and leaving everything else the same, including the ads. Once you're done, hit publish. Now, this person asked, what budget should you use to A-B test? I'm gonna answer that, but first, really quickly, I have to say that if you'd rather have Facebook advertising experts handle all of your Facebook marketing for you, so you can see profitable results without having to fuss with it yourself, we do that for small businesses every day. So if you wanna get a free quote, just fill out our contact form, I've linked it in the description. All right, so how much should you spend on Facebook ads when A-B testing? Our rule of thumb with Facebook ads in general is that you should at least like at the very least, be spending $500 a month per campaign. That comes out to about $16 a day to fuel however many ads you got going on within that campaign. So if you're A-B split testing a lot of ads or especially a lot of ads within multiple ad sets, you'll want to increase your budget enough from that $500 monthly baseline so that all the ads can get some reach with a fair and equal chance of getting served. Once your ads have run long enough to where you can start picking out the top performers from your test, then you can turn off all the losing ads and allow the remainder of your budget to be put fully towards the winning ad or ad set. I say all that because I know it can make you start feeling impatient when you're spending spending all this money on ads that are not generating you results or are generating them at a cost per result that doesn't work for your business model. But the goal here is to quickly test out a lot of variables and narrow in on what does work for your brand, your audience, and your product or service so you can put your budget towards the ad that is generating results. The alternative here is running every ad one at a time until you find what works, which takes forever and even more budget. So we don't wanna do that. Now you may have noticed the little AB split test icon in Ads Manager from my screen share earlier. Facebook offers a native AB test you can run where it uses AI to help you determine high performing ads. Morgan shows you how to use that in this video, so I'll link that below in case you're interested in learning how to do it that way. And I will see you guys in the next episode.